Heaven high, everyone. I am the affirmation queen. I love affirming myself and others. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and make sure that you click the bell notification. This way you can get all of my affirmative videos. Shh. Guess what, guys? I am in my closet. And this is where I sometimes come to pray just to get away from everything, especially because we are in quarantine. So, you know, my children are at home. My husband's working from home. I am working here at home. And, you know, so I sometimes come in my closet. Thank God it's big enough. And I usually I'll sit right down there, right down there. I'll sit down, down there and I'll pray and I'll meditate and I just get still before God. As you notice in the title, today I am going to be praying a powerful prayer of protection over you, you know, and also over myself. And this is something that I do all the time, but everything that's going on in the world, I felt like, you know, I have to do this for the people who are watching my channel and not just for the people who watch who are watching the channel but for everyone in the whole world because you know we are all one we are all one we are here on this planet we're all human and we are together and so i'm just going to be praying for you that your mind would be focused on uh, righteousness, focused on joy, peace, prosperity, and abundance. Okay. Focused on love. Now is the time that you can get back to your family and love, love, love like never before. You know, I was talking to my great aunt. I'm sorry. Not my, well, my great aunt too, but I was talking to my auntie and she was telling me how, you know what, when she was a child, stores closed early. You know, everything was closed on Sunday and stores closed at around six o'clock, seven o'clock. It wasn't anything about 24 hours uh, that the stores were open. There was family time. People sat down and ate together. And I believe that if you take this time and really shift your energy on nothing but positivity, righteousness, love, joy, peace, prosperity, and abundance, that is what you're going to attract into your life. You know, I always say think on the things that are positive. Think on the things that are true. Think on the things that bring you joy because the joy of the Lord is your strength. And if you don't have any joy right now, you will have joy when you finish watching this video because we praying today. Okay. And yes, I said it that way. We praying today. <laughs> okay. Let's just, let me just go ahead on and pray for you right now. We got two weeks in quarantine. That's what they say, two weeks. And this two weeks is going to be powerful. This two weeks is going to be full of joy and anointing and blessings. And we are rising higher and higher, higher and higher because the kingdom of God dwells within us. So let's go ahead and go to the throne. Dear great I am, I touch and agree with my brothers and sisters all around the world. I touch and agree right now. Holy Spirit, you are in this place. You dwell and we just thank you for your presence and we thank you for your peace. We thank you for your joy. We thank you for prosperity. We thank you for this moment that we're in right now. We thank you because we're alive to be in the moment. We thank you because it is in you that we breathe and have our being. We thank you because you are God. God and God alone and you dwell with inside of us and we say thank you. We thank you because we are spiritual beings having a natural experience and we remember that. We say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank you because our body is the temple that you dwell in and we say thank you. And now this time that we are here right now, we ask for your divine power and your divine presence, your divine peace and your your divine understanding to saturate us, saturate our minds from the crown of our heads 
down to the soles of our feet. I just ask for divine protection from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet in the back of us. Surround our homes with protection. Surround everything with protection for us. Surround our families. Surround our friends. May the Archangel Michael be working on our behalf. May the Archangel Raphael be working on our behalf. Healing anything that is in us that is not good. Anything that is in us that is not pure. May we use our vessels as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto you. May we put in our bodies healthy foods and bottled, uh, bottled spring water, bottled from the source. May we, when we think about something that we're going to put into our body, will you help us to think about righteousness and to think about putting in healthy foods? We ask for your divine protection. We speak that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We speak that we are looking to the kills from which cometh our help because our help comes from you. We speak that we are divinely guided and protected. Your word says the steps of a good man and woman are ordered by you and you delight and we delighteth in your way. And I say thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have gratitude because we know that gratitude shifts and changes is our attitude. We are expecting miracles. We are expecting blessings. We are expecting abundance. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. We claim it. We are abundant. We are happy. Even during this time of quarantine, we are happy. We are full of joy because we know that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Our minds are protected. We have the mind of Christ. Our minds are guarded in the mighty name name of Yahushua HaMashiach. That is Christ. That is his name in the Hebrew. I speak, uh, your mind is guided and shielded and protected. You are abundantly blessed. I speak it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, no matter where you are, no matter who you are, no matter if you're Muslim, no matter if you're Buddhist, no matter if you're Christian, no matter if you're Catholic, if you're Presbyterian, uh, um, I don't care what denomination you are. I'm speaking and, and religion you are. I'm speaking that you are blessed. I'm speaking that this is bringing us together. I come against divisions in the mighty name of Christ. We don't, we no longer need division. We need to be connected together. I'm praying and God knows this is how I pray. We no longer need to be divided, but we need to know that we are one. We are all created in God's image and in God's likeness. I ask God, thou most high, great I am, that over these next few weeks and over these next months, that your presence would dwell. I ask that we would be the light workers and the anointed ones in this planet for such a time as this. I ask that we would be the chosen ones to lift this world up, to lift this area up, to lift the city that we live in, to lift the workplace that we live in, to lift our family up. I ask that you would give us the tools that we need and the tools are inside of us because your word says you dwell in us. May we get still before you. May we get still before you. May we get still before you. May we listen to your voice. May we listen to your voice. And as we listen to your voice, may we apply action to what it is that you want us to do. I thank you for your people. I thank you for your people. I thank you for your angels. May the Archangel Ariel dwell and rest upon the planet. I thank you for your archangels that you have dispatched all over the planet. I thank you. I thank you for Mother Earth, this earth that you've placed us in. I thank you for the beautiful sun and the, and, and, and the uh, illuminated, illuminated uh, moon. I say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Give you praise. Amen and amen. I just thank you for just watching this video. And from the bottom of my heart, I want you to know that I love you, that I will be praying for you, that I am decreeing and declaring greatness over you. 
Be anxious for nothing, but in everything through prayer and petition, make your request be made known unto God. And I guarantee you that the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind. Get still. The scripture says, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. This too, sh this too shall pass. All things work together for the good of them who love God and are called according to his purpose. I had one young lady to tell me, you know what? I'm not going to, I'm not going to be working. How am I going to pay my bills? I said, God got it. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge God and he shall direct your path. What does that scripture mean when it says trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding? Don't lean to your flesh. Don't lean to your ego. Remember that greater is inside of you. When you wake up in the morning, do gratitude affirmations. When you come in, I have a mirror right in front of me. A huge mirror and I can see myself now and I look at myself in the mirror and I tell myself greatness lies in me. I am great. I have my children say it. My children do affirmations every morning. I am great. I am wonderful. The great I am dwells with inside of me. Be careful what you say after the words I am because I am is the name of the most high. So when you take that name, remember that it's the name of the most high. And remember that the most high dwells with inside of you. This is one of the reasons why I believe that, you know, that the temples are closing and churches are closing and, you know, the mosque is closing and the synagogue because God wants us to know. I really truly believe that the most high wants us to know that we are the temple. We are the temple. We have to have a personal relationship. We have to know that it's our breath. It's, the, it's in the breath. It's in the breath. When we transition home, the breath is being taken up. The spirit is being taken up. The soul. If you've ever heard somebody, someone transitioning, I remember when I talked to my grandmother, my mother's mother, before she transitioned to go home, to go back to where she came from, it was as if an angel was taking her breath. It was as if her breath was just leaving. It was as if it was just going up. The breath is what connects us to the most high. We got to stop thinking that, you know what, my way is the right way. And I got it all together. We got to stop thinking that my religion is the best religion and my denomination is the best denomination and my pastor is the best pastor. And, you know, I go to the grand synagogue and I am a Hebrew Israelite and I'm a Jehovah's Witness and all these different divisions. I'm African American. I'm Caucasian. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm Mexican. I'm Dominican. All of these different denominations and, and these different um, uh, divisions that we put ourselves in, if we want to put ourselves in anything, we need to know that we are children of the Most High. We are children of the Most High because we are created in the Most High's image. So you want to put yourself in a category, let's put ourselves in that category. Let's pray for these people who are uh, making decisions. Let's pray for them. Okay, let's pray for them. Let's stand still and see the salvation of the Most High God. And let's know that everything is working out for us way better than we expect. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I did not think that this video was going to be almost 13, almost 14 minutes, but it is. And please like and please share this video with everyone you know. Blessings and peace. Bye-bye.